So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Back to the Future. Oh, okay, not sure about that title. I'll try to come up with something else. Okay, I mean, I feel like that works, though. Well, we'll see. So what happens in this thing? Well, we're gonna meet this teenager, Marty McFly, and he's hanging out at his friend's house, this wacky old scientist guy, Dr. Emmett Brown. Oh, and how did they become friends? Somehow, I imagine. Okay, I have no further questions. Okay, thank God. So Doc Brown, he's real wacky. He says, Great Scott, all the time. Oh, Scott is tight. Fantastic. So Marty's life is pretty crappy, like his dad gets bullied by this guy named Biff, his mom is an alcoholic, his brother has a crappy job, and his sister can't find a boyfriend. Yikes. And then one night Doc brings Marty to a shopping mall parking lot because he built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Oh, he did? Yeah, so we're gonna have this really fun scene where they engage in some casual, you know, animal testing. Oh my god, what? Yeah, Doc puts his dog inside the DeLorean, sends him into the future, and you know what? He doesn't die. Is Doc the bad guy? Well, what would make you think he's the bad guy? So anyway, then the terrorists he's been dealing with show up. You're sure he's not the bad guy? Yeah, no, no, no. He ripped these guys off for some plutonium, so they murder him. Oh, what is going on? And so Marty escapes in the DeLorean and accidentally goes back to 1955. That's in the past. It certainly is, sir. And so he's gonna run into his dad, George McFly. Oh, that's interesting. An encounter with his dad in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so pretty much immediately he finds out that his dad's a peeping Tom. Oh my god. Yeah, and he saves his dad from getting hit by a car, but then he gets hit by a car. Oh. And so he's taken in by his mom Lorraine's family and she is all over him when he wakes up. I mean, she really wants to sleep with him. What are you talking about? See, the whole thing is that Marty's parents met after George was hit by that car, but now since Marty was hit by the car, Lorraine just wants to hook up with him. She's on a path to end up with him. Right, okay, I feel like I feel like that's pretty messed up for a movie. Yeah, so the whole movie, Lorraine's trying really hard to get into her son's pants. I do not like that sentence. Well, she doesn't know that it's her future son. I still, I don't see how that's gonna be fun for anyone to watch. I feel like everybody's gonna love it. Well, if you say so. So what else happens? Well, so Marty's gonna spend the movie trying to get his dad to hook up with his mom instead of him, because the future's getting all messed up now. Oh, really? Yeah, he goes to see Doc in 1955, and Doc is like, uh-oh, Marty, that's, you know, this isn't good. How can he tell? Well, Marty has this photo with him from the future, and you can see his siblings starting to disappear from it bit by bit, because they were never born. So that exact photo at that exact time, at that exact angle, was still taken, despite the wildly different circumstances? That's what we're going with. Well, okay then. So anyway, Marty hatches a plan to get Lorraine to go to the dance with George instead of him and get them to fall in love. How does he plan on doing that? <clears throat> Sorry, sir, can I just, uh... Just a minute, Larry. So what's what's the plan? Well, he's gonna pretend to force himself on his own mother, and then his father's gonna come in and beat him off, and that's really gonna impress the mom, and then she's gonna want to hook up with him instead of her own son. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure? You can stick around. No, no, I incest. I insist. Not sure what that guy's problem was, so how does the plan play out? Oh, well, it turns out that bully Biff shows up, and he actually tries to force himself on the rain. Oh, no. Yeah, he's really going at it. He's really trying to take advantage of this girl. And you're sure this is a family movie? I'm telling you, I feel like it's gonna be a classic. So then George really does save the day by standing up to Biff and punching him out. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and then at that school dance, Marty's gonna play Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. Great song. And it turns out Chuck Berry's cousin is there, so he calls Chuck and he's like, hey, you know that new sound you're looking for? So Chuck Berry steals the song Johnny Be Good from over a phone. He does, yeah, fun little tidbit. But if Marty hadn't performed it, Chuck Berry would have come up with it word for word just a couple years later. Right, but now in this timeline, Chuck Berry's a plagiarist, so it's fun. Right, okay, I guess that's a fun moment. So anyway, now that Marty's ensured that his parents are gonna procreate, he has to go back to the future. That's the name of the movie. That last part of the sentence, yeah, not the whole sentence. Okay, so yeah, I actually did just think of a title that might be a bit better. Okay. What if we call it Spaceman from Pluto? Spaceman from Pluto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a real note that a Hollywood studio executive is giving. Let's call it Spaceman from Pluto instead of Back to the Future. Oh, I feel like, I feel like, you know, you know, God no. Well, we'll see. Okay, to be discussed, I guess. So what else happens? Well, Doc and Marty need to use this famous lightning strike on a clock tower to power the time machine back to the 80s. Okay. And before they do, Marty gives Doc a letter informing him that he's gonna be shot in the future and he needs to protect himself. Oh, smart. But Doc is like, no, I cannot know any information about the future. The results could be disastrous. So he tears the letter up. Oh no. But then Marty's like, oh, I have a time machine. I could just go warn him in the future. Uh, very clever. Very clever. So he gives himself 11 minutes. Whoa, why would he give himself 11 minutes? Why not give himself a couple of hours or even days? Well, he's gonna give himself 11 minutes because it's more exciting this way. Fair enough. So is it gonna be tough for Doc to survive? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. 
convenience. Oh, really? Yeah, it turns out Doc taped the note back together, so he puts on a bulletproof vest. Oh, well, thank God he did a complete 180 on his passionate speech about knowing about the future. Yeah, it really worked out. So then Marty goes to see his family, and they're just completely different now. Oh, they are? Yeah, his dad's a super successful author, his brother has a great job, his sister has a good dating life. George is a rich author, and they still live in the same house? They do. The brother has a good office job, and he still lives at home? He does. Well, okay then. Oh, and also now Biff gets hired by George to wax his car. George hired the guy who tried to assault his wife? He did. He's like, ah, oh, that Biff is such a character. He's always trying to get away with something. Like assaulting his wife. Yeah, quite the character. And so now Marty gets to go on a date, and he has a nice car. Now wait, so his entire family have had a different life, but Marty still has the memories and experiences of the original timeline? Uh, yeah, yeah. So what happens to the version of Marty that was living with the family on this new timeline that they were interacting with on a daily basis? Uh, so... Yeah, don't worry about any of that. Oh, okay, I won't. Great, so what do you think? Well, it sounds insane and inappropriate in several ways, but somehow I do think it'll be a classic. Oh yeah, nobody's ever gonna dare to even think about remaking this thing. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that pitch meeting. Hope you liked it. This was kind of a special episode. If you didn't know, the entire pitch meeting series was inspired by a stand-up bit by John Mulaney where he talks about trying to sell back to the future and what a crazy, crazy idea it is. As always, you can let me know in the comments section what other movies you want to see pitch meetings for. And you know, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and share with your friends. Bye bye